Hi, this is Josh Stern. And Michael Walters. With the Stern team at Keller Williams. And our goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so that you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to your own home selling, buying, and investing goals. Today, we're gonna talk through our third quarter market statistics for the Wasatch Front. So these numbers are through October 4th of 2018, and they're gonna be compared to through October 5th of 2017 so when reference when we're referencing like a year ago all right so sales so far through the third quarter of 2018 they're stable and relatively unchanged as sales through the third quarter of 2017 were nearly 28,000 single-family homes townhomes and condos have sold along the Wasatch Front so far this year yeah, along the Wasatch Front, our average sale price through three quarters of 2018 is $341,173, with the median price being $303,000. Through three quarters of 2017, our average price was $309,657, with the median price at $272,761. So our average price has increased nearly 10% year over year with the median price increasing by 10% as well. Mm -hmm. Interest rates are up about 1% year over year on the 30 year mortgages. We've predicted that for a while now. Um, they've risen from just over 3% to now about 4.62% year over year. As of October 4th, we've seen five consecutive weeks of rate increases on 30 year mortgages. Additionally, we've seen the feds increase their rate three times this year and there's a fourth that's on the horizon. Most experts expect the feds will raise rates three more times in 2019 and one more time in 2020. I think of this as more of a normalization of interest rates because if we go back to say 1990, the average interest rate would be about 6.6%. We're well below that, um, but don't be surprised if we get to 6% by the second or third quarter of 2019. Yeah, average days on market along the Wasatch Front is 38 days, and, and that's only 5% less from the same time last year at 36 days. Our overall inventory for all housing types along the Wasatch Front is at 3.95 months of supply, and this is still relatively low inventory. However, uh, the inventory has increased by 16% over the second quarter of this year, where we were at a 3.3% month supply. Yeah, and I'm actually I'm glad that you brought that up because as we're seeing more and more price decreases uh, of, of listing inventory along the Wasatch Front, um, with interest rates hitting right now about a seven year high, we've naturally seen affordability uh, drop and that's led to more inventory and existing, existing inventory rather experiencing some price adjustments. In fact, nationally, more than 25% of all homes listed on the market experienced a price drop in the month of September. Yeah, in areas of the country that have received significant price growth over recent years, like Seattle or San Francisco, Los Angeles, Portland, and really up and down the West Coast are seeing rising interest rate put a halt on demand. Mm -hmm. Not to sound dramatic, but these are areas that also have three months or less of, su of supply and also have unemployment rates below 4%. So, Incomes have also been steadily on the rise for a few years now. Okay, and that's good news. So the general narrative here is that prices are up along the Wasatch Front by about 10%. Um, supply of homes are still pretty tight, especially in that entry level price range, but we're seeing supply levels above that that are beginning to increase. Uh, and it's loosening some of the pressure on pricing as evidenced in the price decreases previously mentioned. Interest rates are moving up as predicted and un unemployment is down. Wages are up and sales are about the same year over year. Yeah, as usual, give us a call or send us an email if you have any real estate questions or needs. Also, you're able to get your free instant market evaluation on this site by clicking the home evaluation tab or click on the home search tab to search real-time all properties by all brokerages for the entire Wasatch Front.